Welcome back to channel SciTech. In this video, I'm going to do the another benchmark test in the Realme GT Neo 2 by using the Realme cooling clip, which is right now powering from the Realme GT Neo 2. Yes, friends, right now as you can see, friends, this is exactly the cable which is connected Type C to Type C cable to the Realme cooling clip, which right now it's powering from the smartphone. Let's see under this extreme level of tense testing how much the Android benchmark score the Realme GT Neo 2 can actually score which has got the Snapdragon 870 chipset processor so which is going to be really very very interesting friends uh, the main reason why I did select this small uh, Realme cooling clip not the big one so there's a big one available at this moment as you can see so when I try to connect to the big one the big one is not powering on this uh, Realme cooling clip that's the reason I thought of choosing the previous which I got the small cooling clip so let's see using this power supply from the smartphone and doing the Android benchmark test at same time how much performance results we can actually expect will it gonna decrease or increase will it be same or not that's what I'm going to exactly concentrate in this video so these are one of those kind of videos which I'll try to do out of curiosity questions let's see how much Android benchmark score we can actually expect in this Realme G2 with this cooling clip which has been powering from the smartphone so right now it's been touching to the bottom surface you will be able to see it exactly a little bit it's touching just a little bit so the main reason it's not touching completely because of this double bump camera which is present it's so annoying already the camera bump is so annoying on the top of that the camera lens is also slightly bumped over that's another uh, biggest disappointment range because because of that small camera bump which has been causing a lot of issues with the gaming triggers and this kind of cooling clips which i'm unable to keep it properly so this is the exact score which i got before let me try to take the screenshot yes i took i took the screenshot so let me try to start the test right now using this, this kind of method and right now the temperature is up 31 degrees celsius 31 degrees on the back side 30 degrees not bad it's showing the sign about close to 31 on the back side 30 29 so this complete setup right now it's powering from the smartphone only as you can see friends clearly so i'm not using any kind of external source let's see using this kind of method how much score we can actually expect let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this kind of testing are you interested in this kind of unique kind of testings or not definitely i'll do my best to come up with this kind of ideas no new and new ideas so stay tuned friends more updates again i'll be back after some time just to check how is the temperatures going on in the realme gt near 2 so right now we did reach close to 48 percentage as well the temperatures on the phone reached up to 37.4 degrees celsius 37.4 degrees celsius and the back side 33 and near this cooling clip 31.6 not bad so around this cooling clip it's maintaining really very low temperatures 33 as you can see it's not bad so on the back side it did not increase much high temperatures at all that's pretty good to see this kind of low temperatures on the back side near the exact CPU position. On the front side, we can definitely see slightly high temperatures on the front side. So again, we'll be back when the under benchmark percentage score reaches to maybe or 90 percentage, then we can actually discuss more details what is happening with the overall temperatures. So let me know in the comment section below on what other phones you want me to do this kind of uh, benchmark test. Definitely, I'll try to plan this kind of benchmarks. As I said, unfortunately, I cannot use that kind of uh, method for this cooling clip because the power is not enough i think so to power this one so don't worry friends i can be back uh, with other phones other phones comparing the similar man so final friends we're getting close to the end of the test results and the temperatures remain to be higher on the top side 37 degrees celsius on the top area we'll be able to see clearly what is happening with the temperatures and let's see how much the benchmark cpu and the gpu scores are actually uh, noted down after this kind of method because this is my first time doing this kind of testing on the realme gt neo 2 so this is very much kind of intense kind of testing friends because putting a lot of load on the battery and loading load on the cpu and the gpu as well so i would not recommend anyone to definitely power in this way but still let's see if you try to do what will happen whether this phone can actually handle this kind of pressure or not because I did put same kind of pressure on the IQ sound device as well and finally we got the benchmark results which are about uh, 7 lakhs 11,000 so not not bad so it was exactly kind of similar kind of results which which we got so nothing much major difference and let me try to show you the screenshot which are taken before starting the test is a screenshot which are taken try to look at the CPU and the GPU scores what the difference is actually in overall temperatures 38 degrees celsius but right now the temperatures did not uh, decrease much it, it was remaining 37.8 degrees celsius because it was cooling down and the battery was heating so maybe because of uh, charging required that's the reason maybe 
but still this is the highest score which we got in the highest temperatures as you can see exactly and 10 percent battery decreased of course because of the charging the battery will drain slightly more and now it's time to check what is the underneath the uh, temperatures exactly of this one so much the temperatures it is let me do quickly open this and uh, show you the temperatures under this one is about 25.25 degrees celsius not bad so it's very cool so actually i can see feel some kind of water yes it's kind of, there's some kind of water is there and it was touching and the temperatures on this one will be 19 degrees celsius 19 18.4 degrees celsius it's very cool not bad so friends this is a quick review on the realme gt neo 2 using realme cooling clip this is how the Android benchmark works it was able to maintain really good stable performance not bad so as i said with other realme cooling clip it was unable to perform so let me need to show you what happens if i try to connect other cooling clip it's not working so you are getting slightly kind of i think power shortage maybe that's the reason it's not working it's only working with the normal uh, small realme cooling clip only at this moment as you can see that's it friends thank you for watching this video and this state of more updates in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below meanwhile signing off bye